change of ends has worked for Roach. And Burns goes straight after lunch. I'm really interested in seeing this dismissal again. Because I think he covered the line of the ball nicely. It was the angle of the bat that allowed the ball to roll on to the stumps. Let's have a look. On the off stump line, maybe he played it a little too late. And this just rolled on to the off stump. Wicket for Kima Roach. Oh, he's got him. Top of off stump. I think it might have flicked the elbow on the way. But Roach has two after lunch. And the West Indian fans are loving it. Maybe a bit of extra bounce as well. That's the length that Kima Roach will be searching for more often than not. Yeah, a little glimpse of the elbow. Not have been expecting it to bounce that much. He was pushing forward. Just like Rory Burns. Sir. Yes, a little bit of bat. A ricochet is on to the stump. Huge appeal. Has he got a nick on it? No, he's gone. I think they'll review this. Looks like no batting in all. Uh, you can go to Ultra Edge. Okay, flat line as the ball passed the bat. No bat in wall. You can go to the ball tracking. Waiting for the ball tracking. Ball tracking is coming up. Impact in line. Picket's umpire's call. Uh, Picket's umpire's call. You can, you, can, you can show the umpire on the screen. You can make the signal now. Well done. Stays with the umpire. The bell trimmer. It's the one thing they were thinking about looking at. Is it a touch too high? He's just nipping the bells. Ben Stokes, another dangerous player, has gone without scoring. 48 for five. It's high in the air, down to fine leg, fine legs down there, takes the catch! Out first ball! Well, who would have believed it? There's another. Fabulous bowling. He's 9-5 for... This was a quick delivery. Straight enough at off stump that Josh Butler had to think about playing. Got too big for him. And through to the keeper it went. Good bounce. <laughs> Tried to play. And uh, just getting the outside edge. Excellent delivery from Kimar Roach. Five wickets for him. Joss Butler goes for just four. England now 49 for seven. Has he taken it? I think he has. Jason Holder low down at second slip. Roach gets the right line and a bit of late movement finds the outside edge. The probing has paid off for Kima Roach. He's been searching for that outside edge from the start of his spell. Finally, he gets it. Very good delivery. He had to play Rory Burns. Oh, close. Close if he hasn't hit it. That was full. That's got to be close. They've used up one review, and they're going to use their second. Yeah, definitely missing the bat there. Thank you. Okay, I'm happy that they're um, satisfied there's no bat involved. So if we can go to ball tracking, please. 
Ball tracking coming up now, Chris. Uh, impact is in line and hitting the wickets. Uh, your original decision was not out, so you'll be re uh, overturning that to out. You're on, on camera now. Yeah, that's a good review from the West Indies. Poor umpiring, I have to say. Two decisions today. Both of them look very out. And the West Indies have struck just after lunch, and it's the danger man, Bairstow. He will be disappointed. It's straight after the lunch break. And we've seen this often, especially in that first test match, England losing wickets before breaks, after breaks. Yet again, Jason Holder. Uh, the West Indies, uh, they strike. And it's the big fish, Johnny Bairstow, going for 52. 78 for five. Up in the air, should be taken. Shannon Gabriel, yes, makes no mistake. Did that ray off a length as well. Went high, and it was full. Kima Roach gets his third wicket of the innings. Well, a suspicious look at the pitch from Moyn Ali. Looks to be a tame dismissal. A foolish length, and it hits the top of the bat, doesn't it? Right where that maker's name is, and it just loops into the air. Gets it in there eventually, Shannon Gabriel. Bounce and taking the shoulder of the bat. Holder attacking with a fourth slip in the cordon. And there will be no recovery from the lower order. No recovery led by Sam Curran. England 186 for nine. See that it started to lose a bit of patience. Ben Stokes, full of delivery. And this one takes the inside edge onto the stumps. Marriage strikes. And this could be a very telling blow. Ben Stokes, dangerous player. And he's got to depart now. And here's how it happened. Full delivery, trying to drive quite to the pitch and inside edge onto his stumps more frustration Ben Stokes and England in deep problems now fifth wicket goes down batsman had to play and uh, this one didn't straighten came straight through the gate took the pad and the off stump big shout height is the issue Gaffney the umpire and holder reviews We've got three reds. And uh, once again, he has called uh, an excellent your review. Decision to out. You're on screen there. Oh, close. Broad is across. He's in front of the stumps. Gaffney gives him out. It looks stone dead. Windies, they're not worried at all. They're smiling. They're already celebrating. Stuart Broad will have a conversation with Sam Curran, his partner turns and leaves it was adjacent pitched in line would have probably hit middle stump maybe middle and leg it was a long way across wasn't he Stuart Broad and a long way back and Kima wrote what a series he is having England six left-handers been grist to his mill he's seen the back of another he's got Stuart Broad LBW and another left-hander now will be coming in with England's lead just six up in the air 
keeper should get there. Will the keeper get there? He does. Oh, what a grab. What a grab that is. Brilliant catch in a swirling breeze. And Dowrich has pulled off an absolute beauty of a grab. Big in-swinger, big drive. Just what Ian Bishop was saying. Roach has Bairstow again. Thirtieth time in Test match cricket that he's been bowled. It's been said all morning. Beautifully bowled. Kemar Roach has bowled superbly on day one and is getting the rewards on day two. But not for the first time in this series either. Bairstow has had his stumps hit. It's an excellent session of bowling for the Windies this morning. Superb. Biesto goes for two. 270 for seven. High in the air. No control. I think he gets away with this. No. What a terrific catch. An athletic catch. As nonchalant as you like. Made it look so easy, Alzari Joseph. We saw him take a similar catch in that first test match at Kensington Oval when he got rid of uh, Moin Ali. Just enjoyed this one. Top edge goes to his right, Alzari Joseph, who is on a wide fine leg position. Long arms, no problem at all. Not a wicket for Kima Roach. Uh, went wicketless on day one. Already produced three for his team. Wood goes for six. It's 277 for nine. Fended off and taken at third slip. Jimmy Anderson's done and dusted. England will be bowling sooner rather than later. Six down this morning. This was the final wicket. Aggression yet again by the Windies. Short delivery took his eyes off the ball. Simple catch. Timo Paul made no mistake. Ended the innings on 277. Get to Kima Roach leading in terms of wickets for the West Indies. Oh, Baldy. New ball does it again. To Jaffa. Yeah, Butler looks down at the pitch, looks at Kemar Roach and just nods. It's a Jaffa. It turned Butler round. Wider the crease. Butler's looking to work it to the onside. Straightened up and just clipped off stump. I think the umpires want to check that front foot. And he's absolutely fine. So Butler will have to continue on his way. Beaten by a terrific delivery from Kemar Roach. That is a beautiful delivery. It's the angle that has done for Butler. Wider the crease and therefore turning him around and opening him up. Excellent Kemar Roach to end an excellent innings from Josh Butler. 56 for him, England 254 for four.